Howdy, folks. Dr. Freedom here with time from Dr. News. News from in around the universe. Well, you know the rest if you're telepathic. Okay, um, you don't want to go in there. It's a dirty place. There's little bats flying around and little cobwebs in the quarters. Okay, uh, well, not hard, but uh, yeah, a lot of weird things going on out there in the world. It's just, oh, man, it, there's so many freaky-deaky world uh, people out there in the world. I mean, in a freaky-deaky world. Yeah, I should have said you know, who just deliberately jab at you because they want you to go off and then you're dumb enough to do it. You know what the worst part is later on? It's not the fact that you went off or that, you know, and that you're angry at this person. You're angry because you fell for it. This is something that happened to me today. And I'm like, I was so damn stupid. I really was. I, I almost really got led down a corridor. It could have led some trouble, but that's a whole nother topic. You don't want to know about that. Stupid people. Uh, or one of my favorite quotes of all time was from Blind Fury. Unreasonable people make life so difficult. And when you're dealing with man, children, and various other forms of that, it just bums you out. And you got to remember, put a smile on your face, walk away, whistle, and just enjoy life. But let's get off that heavy stuff. Now, a lot of the big question that's been floating around for the last few days has been going on about this whole Christmas special thing. Now, um, one of my viewers actually wrote the BBC, and this was the reply that he received. Quote, I understand you are disappointed with press reports stating that there will be no Christmas Day episode of the science fiction drama this year. As with the current series, head writer and series showrunner Chris Chibnall has remained tight-lipped about what fans of Doctor Who can expect from the current run, and this includes not revealing any clues about the 11th episode. There has been no decision made yet regarding the mooted seasonal episode of Doctor Who, and the Christmas and New Year schedules have not as yet been confirmed. Keep an eye out for Christmas schedules, which will be available in December. So... They're kind of keeping it vague, and I don't know why people are having a cow. Yes, it is going to be sad that, once again, they're giving up a traditional time slot on a very traditional day, if this is true. But at the same time, it's a week. You know, come on. It's... But sure, it'll suck because, once again, you know, you go back to work on New Year's Day or the day after. Or actually, yeah, if it airs on New Year's Day, you're going back to work on the second, and it's like Chibnall's got it in for sticking you watching Doctor Who when you know full well the next day you got to go to work, which sucks. But or especially you kids who are still going to school, get used to those hours. They will be burned into your soul. Okay. By the way, I remember school is just nothing more than an indoctrination center to break you and destroy your will to make you easily controlled by your corporate masters. And that was your educational moment. All right, let's get to what little news I do have, okay? Because I don't have a whole lot, so let's get to it. All right, moving forward and onward to, wow, okay. Now, this popped up on Doctor News, and it's been a few other places, but this is the best one I could find at short notice. The new Doctor Who 13th Doctor 5.5-inch action figure has been officially announced. It will be priced £12.99 and will be released at some point during late December and can be ordered on pre-sale from the 1st of December on 2018. Now, I know that I probably announced this before, but I wanted to throw it out there just to remind you, if you're into this. People have been asking me, what do you think of the figures? I don't collect action figures really that much anymore. I used to collect a lot of Spawn figures and whatnot, and I just don't have the room to display them properly anymore. You know, ugh, see, look. So I ended up boxing them up and putting most of them away. All the ones that were pretty much open had been sitting you know, on shelves for decades and for falling to pieces. So a lot of the ones that used to be on the shelf back here, I ended up tossing in the trash. A lot of people are going, ah! but it's like, I still got all the ones I have in boxes put away in storage. So Hey, you know, they're still there. All right, moving forward, <laughs> like you give a damn. All right, Doctor Who moves to the earliest time slot yet to make room for David Attenborough documentary. Now, what they're doing is for, okay, Jodie Whittaker's first Doctor of okay, well, now on Sunday the 18th of November, Kerblam will air at 6.30 p.m. UK time, which is going to be the earliest Doctor Who's, you know, aired so far this year. And basically it's like, so what? We're still going to do the Omega Files probably at the same time and all that. It's not going to really affect me much any. It'll give everybody more of a chance to sit back and reflect on what they've watched before we discuss it. So 
basically, yeah, they're pushing it back for the sake of this documentary. No biggie. It's a whopping half hour difference. I don't know why people are having a cow about this either. All right. Now, spoiler alert, because we're going to look at some pics. If you go on over here to this particular Doctor Who TV, and how many Doctor Who TVs are there now? But okay, but this is Doctor Who TV. Um, this gallery has been put up for Demons of the Punjab. It's some really beautiful shots here. If you want to take a look, look at it. Some really cool stuff. Yeah, and look at this. Some really, really nice photos. Oh, by the way, there's our gunman from the series trailer way back when some beautiful oh, look at this this is so cool so if you want to go scroll through these for yourself no worries i will be passing the link to you remember all links to all articles are always down in the description box of the video all right what will happen with doctor season 11 episode 6 um this one the main thing is or here's the synopsis blah 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 yeah we are we've already read that and basically, it tells you a little bit like the partition of India also it takes place in 1947. And it's all the British rule nation divided into two countries being India and Pakistan. And it gives you a little bit more here. But like I said, it's not a huge article. It's out in the express. Go figure. But I figured I'd share it with you. Come on, let's keep moving. All right, here we go about the Children in Need special. One of the highlights of the BBC Children in Need 2018 appeal show is footage featuring a young girl with the Doctor Who cast in the TARDIS set at Rothlock Studios. The official description, quote, an incredible girl who's supported by BBC Children in Need gets the opportunity to visit the Doctor Who film set where she enters the TARDIS and meets the entire cast before being surprised by the Doctor herself, Jodie Whittaker. Nine-year-old Anna from Bosingstoke, I hope I got that right, has the lovely privilege of visiting the Doctor Who set. Now, Colt Box previously reported that the set at Rothlock Studios well, sorry, that the set at Roadblock Studios, when the footage was filmed August 7th, was apparently very wet. Now, perhaps the TARDIS has its own weather systems. Also, keep in mind, we've seen the photo for the safety thing, the safety sheet for this particular shoot. So, BBC Children Need will air on Friday, November 16th, 7.30 to 10, with a 40-minute gap before it restarts at 10.40 p.m. and runs until 12.30 a.m. on BBC One. Now, during the gap, BBC Two will air Junior Mastermind for Ch BBC Children in Need, which will start at 10 and finish at 10.40. Yippee, skippy, but this is really nice that they're doing this, you know, for Children in Need. Moving forward, Doctor Who's Peter Capaldi presents a 75,000-pound check to a leading cancer charity. So two leading breast cancer charities have come together to fund vital research into secondary breast cancer, an incurable disease which kills almost 1,000 people every month. Now, Dr. Actor Peter Capaldi was at hand to present a $75,000 check to Breast Cancer Now, the UK's largest breast cancer charity. Now, Capaldi is a celebrity patron to Second, Secondary First, a charity which funds cancer research, presented the check to Dr. Claire Wills of King's College London and Baroness Dedith Morgan, Chief Executive at Breast Cancer Now. So nice that Peter's out there doing these you know, nice things, making these nice appearances. All right, we'll keep forward. It's keep moving forward. What's happening with the Doctor Experience site and the wider Port, Port Tiger area? I, I, I can't do Welsh. I'm sorry. I can't do it. You know, you can read it yourself right there. Whatever it is. So what are they doing? Mm, not really a whole lot for, for what we're hearing. Um, so the thing is, a lot of people don't realize that when the Doctor Who Experience left and it was shut down, you know, when, it, when they cut the, you know, cut the cord, so to say, um, you know, pulled the ripcord, got out. Um, it was somewhere in the neighborhood, I think, of like two million pounds in debt or somewhere along that line to the local government, if I remember correctly. There, we've done articles about it and all that, you know, due to some kind of merchandising deal that they had had, you know, for the property, you know, basically, you know, leasing it out. And oh, yeah, I don't do legalese very well, but if you want to go check this out, if you're curious as to what's going on, and of course, this is an old photo because this is all gone. So the site is now with our marketing agents. In other words, we're trying to sell it off. In other words, you know, it's like, come on, it, it's still just standing there empty. And meanwhile, you could have still been trying to make some money out of it. But the lease was up. They pulled the, you know, pulled the rug from under them. Oh, what can you do? And this article, of course, here has been updated. Um, they've added some more details to it. So that's why I saved it to the end. So you may want to go through it yourself. 
They've been updating this. It says November 1st, but it was updated recently. They keep forgetting to say updated on such a yada yada date. So they've added some names here and there if you want to go check that out. All right, so we got Demons of the Punjab coming up, you know, and then we got like Kerb Lamb and all that other stuff coming in down the pike. And, you know, really excited. We, we, of course, do not have any titles as yet for episodes 9 and 10. We probably won't be putting those out for a couple of weeks yet. Um, speculation is high as to how they're going to end the series, but keep in mind, they had always, they already told you this was originally meant to be 10 standalone stories. Now, whether there's some kind of payoff in the episode 10, we do not know. Um, they've been very tight-lipped about things this year, which is, you know, can be good because we had a couple of weasels out there who are giving the rest of the DWSR crowd a bad name for a while, who were deliberately posting stuff that was just plain hardcore spoilers. And of course, everybody else took the blame for it. Ugh. Long story short, it was a bummer. But things like this happen. And, you know, the future is there. And as I said before at the beginning, don't let people goad you. Don't let people poke you. Don't let people make you angry. The best thing you can do, like I said, is just turn around, smile, and walk away. Well, on that cheerful note, good night, folks. See you on the flip side. Have a it's going to get cold. <laughs> good night.